da da how everybody have you guys ever thought of what it'd be like to live in taiwan well you're definitely in the right place because today i'm going to cover the pros and cons of what it's like living in taiwan from the perspective of an expat so without further ado let's get started first off taiwan is definitely worth the visit and maybe even a longer stay I've been coming here since the mid 90s and I'm not alone in that experience. But like anywhere, it's got its ups and downs. Let's start with the ups. The locals are friendly and helpful, always willing to lend a hand. The convenience of life is hard to be with everything you need within a short distance. And it's safe with low crime rates and a strong sense of community. Taiwan is also stunningly beautiful with an abundance of well-kept hiking trails and breathtaking views. The public transportation system is affordable and reliable, making it easy to explore the island. And the freedom here is obvious with a vibrant mix of culture and traditions. Now let's talk about the food. Taiwan is a foodie's paradise with a mind-blowing variety of dishes that are delicious as they are unique. And the culture is rich and fascinating as well from wonderful temples to lively festivals. So we continue on today. I'd like to invite you to come and subscribe to the channel. Uh, give the video some thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well. Make sure you leave those comments. It really, really uh, helps the channel grow and push it out to more viewers. I really appreciate it if you could support the channel as well. But it's not all sunshine and dumplings. The summers can be brutally hot and humid. The air pollution can also be a problem in some areas of the country. Driving can be a bit crazy and the threat of earthquakes and typhoons are always present. And let's not forget the tension with China, which can cast a shadow over life here as well. Another con is the difficulty in obtaining a permanent visa. There are a few ways to go about it. One's investing $500,000 in a business and creating at least five jobs for local Taiwanese for at least three years. The other way is to invest $1 million in government bonds for the same period of time. Also, to apply for permanent residency, you would need to live in Taiwan for at least 183 days a year, each year for five years in a row. Now, for folks that have studied in Taiwan or were here as a foreign professional, doctorate degrees can count for one year of residency or up to two years for foreign professionals, and master degrees can count for up to one year as a foreign professional as well. And lastly, if you are a spouse or a family member of a Taiwan citizen, you can apply for permanent residency as well. But you also have needed to live in Taiwan for at least 183 days per year, each year for the last five years as well. I know it's a lot, but if you want to live in Taiwan permanently, these are the things you need to consider. Despite these challenges, many of us have made Taiwan our permanent or second home would not trade it for the world. It's not for everyone and homesickness can be pretty tough, but if you're considering a move here, it's worth weighing these pros and cons carefully.
Thanks for joining us on this quick tour of expat life in Taiwan. If you found this video helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights and leave your comments below. I really love to hear from you. Until next time, Dai Zhao Zai Jen. See you on the next video.